Hi, this is Clint from Barbecue Pit Stop, and today we're going to be making some Rocky Mountain oysters, or as some people know them as, calf fries. The most difficult part of this recipe is sourcing the meat product, which is our Rocky Mountain oysters. Fortunately, I was just at the farm this morning, and with the farm, you have a herd of 60 cows, and they're going to have calves. Well, the problem is with those calves, 20, 30 of them, they're going to be bulls and you don't want 20 or 30 bulls running around the field, so that's where we get our calf fries, or our Rocky Mountain Oysters. So we're gonna prepare our Rocky Mountain Oyster, and I'm gonna show you how I do that. You're gonna take this, and you're gonna clean it up, and there is a thick membrane on the outside, and you need to get rid of that so you can get to the tender meat on the inside. So what I do is I take my uh, shoon boning knife, and the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna cut off the ends. And then once you cut off the end, you're gonna make a slit down there so that you can scoop uh, that tender meat out. So I'm just making a slit right across the top, which reveals that good meat on the inside. And you're gonna to start to cut that membrane away. And it's really easy once you get the membrane started, that's the most difficult part. You just hold that membrane with your hand and you're going to take your, your Kai boning knife and you're just going to slide it and hold onto that membrane. And that reveals all that nice, good, tender meat that we're going to cook a little bit later. Now that we've got our Rocky Mountain oysters all prepared, we're gonna get ready to cook them. Now how I've chose to cook them today is we're going to be using Flavor Knuckles, which is a gluten-free batter that makes them, it gives them a crispy shell on the outside and it's gonna keep that soft, moist meat on the inside. So you can do your chicken wings with it, you can do vegetables like mushrooms, you can do cauliflower, or today we're gonna to do our Rocky Mountain oysters in it. We're gonna put them in there, you're gonna have a crisp shell on the outside, and the inside's gonna be just moist and juicy. It's gonna be really great. So how we use our uh, flavor knuckles is we're gonna actually take a half a cup of your flavor knuckles to a full bottle of the Traeger hot sauce. So we're just gonna get that going right now. Two scoops of this. To your bottle of Traeger Original Hot Sauce. It's gonna give you that nice flavor that you like. You're gonna mix it all up. And the next part is really easy. You're gonna take your Rocky Mountain Oysters or your calf fries and you're gonna start putting them in. Get them all covered, looks nice and good. This is what they look like all covered and then you're gonna put these into your deep fryer. And they're gonna turn out wonderful. Now we're gonna start cooking our calf fries. Just gonna put them in, be very careful, grease is can be the devil. Just gonna put a few in. One more. I'm just gonna let them cook. Right now I'm checking for, I'm checking them every once in a while. You need to check for an internal temperature of 165. Looks good to go. All right, I know this is nuts, but we just finished deep frying our Rocky Mountain oysters or some people call them calf fries. Once again, we use our flavor knuckles, chicken and veggie batter, along with our Traeger hot sauce. Mix it together, put it in, 
and it makes this delicious, crisp outside, tender on the inside, Rocky Mountain Oyster.